I was gonna put it in my mouth, and then on the bottom, on the on the other end of this, there was a dead. Hey everybody, I hope you're doing great. So I just realized that I actually never made an official dim sum video. So I wanted to go and take you guys to my favorite place to eat dim sum, which I think is the best dim sum in Honolulu's Chinatown. So we're gonna go and pick up the food right now. And we're actually gonna go and check out ginger garlic. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me for lunch. So today we are gonna go and eat some dim sum. And like what I said earlier, I never really did like a real formal review of you know, a dim sum place. A lot of the places I've been going to were like plate lunches or like poke bowls and stuff like that. And uh, you know, I did some like Chinese fast food as well, but actually, you know what? I do have a dim sum video from long, long time ago when I first started my channel. And that was actually of ginger and garlic, but because that was like one of my original videos, I totally botched it. Like the sound wasn't working and all that kind of stuff. I still don't know what I'm doing now, but I think now it's a little bit better than what it was before. But um, let me go ahead and show you the food. So I know we said we're gonna go and eat dim sum today, but I couldn't help but to get the salted fish and chicken fried rice. So if you never had salted fish and chicken fried rice before, I highly, 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 highly recommend you guys get this the next time you guys get Chinese food. Cause this is like, uh, they have this pretty much everywhere. This is like my favorite fried rice. Next, we have our shrimp look fun. So this is actually two orders of shrimp look fun that I have here. And when I go to dim sum, I always get shrimp look fun right there. Next, we have everyone's favorite, siu mai and ha gao, which is the shrimp dumpling and the pork hash. I think I got three orders of pork hash, the siu mai, and then two orders of ha gao, the shrimp dumpling right here. And lastly, we have black bean spare ribs right here. We have some beef balls, and I'm sure like you guys all love this. I'm just joking. This is a uh, chicken feet right there. Okay, before we start, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do me a big favor and subscribe to the channel right now so you guys can get more videos just like this. Okay, so let's go and, and eat. All right, we're gonna go and, s oh shoot. There's one more thing that I totally forgot to show you guys. Hold on. Okay, so this is a lotus leaf wrap. So this is a uh, mochi rice wrapped with lotus leaf and there's chicken inside. So if you haven't had this, I recommend you guys get this too. Okay, so let's eat. I'm hungry. All right, so we're gonna start off with the basics. Let's go with the siu mai, the pork hash right here. Is it called pork hash in um, the mainland or like in other parts of the world? I'm, I'm wondering, cause I, I never had dim sum in the mainland before, the continental United States. I've only really had dim sum in Hawaii and in Canada. So let me know if you guys call this uh, pork hash too, or if it's called siumai or whatever. So right here, so you got that siumai right here. So this is all pork and we got this uh, wrapper right around and there's some shiitake mushroom in there as well. You can't go wrong with siumai. You can tell this is, this is fresh. And there's actually some shrimp in here too, you see that? Dim sum at ginger garlic is my favorite. You know, I've been to other places in Chinatown before, but I gotta say like, I do think, if, if you were to ask me what's the best dim sum place to eat at in Chinatown, I would say it'd be ginger and garlic. I've been to pretty much every single dim sum restaurant in Chinatown. And I, I do think that ginger and garlic is the best. Okay, so let's go and try some of this shrimp dumpling, the hog out right here. 
know, one thing I thought about when I was looking at the menu today was I was like, you know, in dim sum, they have like so many menu items that has shrimp in it. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff with shrimp in it. Let's take another bite out of this. Hug out. The shrimp is nice and plump in the hog owl. I remember once I um, went to this dim sum place and I got the hog owl. You could totally tell the hog owl was like a day or two old and they basically just went and, and microwaved it. Cause like the wrapper was like kind of hard and dry. So it, it was actually pretty um, disgusting. Okay, let's try some of this beef ball. So all the beef ball basically is, is beef with some green onions inside. And I don't know, for some reason, like a lot of people that I go to eat dim sum with, they don't like the beef ball, but you know, I really love this thing. Do you guys like this? Let me know. Mm. Nice and soft. And it's like, I don't know, it's like eating a giant meatball. But sometimes I'll be I'll be honest with you guys. Sometimes when I eat the beef ball, it's kind of like pink in the middle, and then like I kind of freak out a little bit because I'm like, man, is is this thing cooked all the way or right? Black bean spare ribs right here. Oh, that is super super tender. Like the bone literally just like popped right off. Oh man. <laughs> that was so good. I should have bought three of these. I bought two. All I can tell you guys, man, is this is super tender, very flavorful. You don't taste like a real strong black bean flavor to it. It's real slight, but it's just super, super tender. That is. Good. Oh, here's a uh, chicken feet. I really want to know, okay, how many of you guys like chicken feet? When you order this in a Chinese restaurant, they call this feng jiao. Gosh. Okay, right here, feng jiao. And basically that means um, phoenix claw. So I'm not really quite sure what kind of sauce is around this, but they cooked it so long that basically um, when you bite into it, the skin and the tendon just kind of falls right off. You see? I know some people get super, super grossed out with eating chicken feet. You know, if you see a chicken in the wild walking around, like there's like all this crap on its like feet and everything, right? It's like walking in its own crap, so. <laughs> <laughs> but it tastes hella good. I'm sure they wash it really, really good. Basically, when you eat this, all you're really eating is the skin and the tendon. You guys can see the tendon right there. My wife, my wife hates this. So I'm just gonna eat it off. Lainey, this is for you. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh. You don't want to eat chicken feet? I feel like such a savage. <laughs> Man, I ha I'm having way too much fun today. So, salted fish chicken fried rice. Okay, so in the salted fish chicken fried rice, we have chicken, bits of salted fish, and it's tossed with some uh, lettuce as well. Mmm. Oh, they got big pieces of salted fish in here. My dad was the one who told me to get this, actually. So, um, I was like, what should I get for lunch today at Ginger Garlic? And he's like, Go and get the um, salted fish fried rice. I was like, yeah, that's right, because that's my favorite. But 
originally I was thinking maybe I should do a video where I did like a bunch of fried rice instead. But maybe I'll do that next time. So if you guys haven't had salted fish before, a little bit goes a long way because it's super, super salty. But just fried rice isn't too salty because, you know, there's a lot of rice and the salted fish with the rice and everything else mixes off very well. So it's not like you're going to go and like eat like a tablespoon of salt or anything like that. So like I said, if you guys never had this before, I highly recommend you guys check this out. Okay, so this is the mochi rice that is wrapped with lotus leaf and there's actually chicken in here. Right here. So you guys can see some of that chicken in there. Mmm. Wow. It's sweet and savory. Mmm. This is almost reminds me of, um, what is that called? A spam musubi. A Chinese spam musubi. The Chinese energy bar right here. So I, normally I eat this with my chopsticks, right? But because we're in the car, it's just going to be too difficult eating this. I'm just going to use my hands. Mm. And there's a duck yolk in here as well. I see that. So yeah, if you guys never had the lotus leaf with the mochi rice and chicken, check that out because that's really, really savory and it's really good. Okay, so I think I have one more thing and that's the shrimp look fun. Oh yeah, before I forget, let me know where you guys like going to get your dim sum. You know, unfortunately in Hawaii, I feel like the dim sum just like really isn't up to par with like the stuff in the mainland. Like I haven't had any dim sum in the mainland before but um from like you know the the videos that i've seen and the pictures i've seen it looks way way better than in hawaii so i mean i remember the dim sum in canada was actually really really good but i feel like in hawaii sometimes like especially with um you know the chinese i mean i could say this because i'm chinese <laughs> so um for me i feel like a lot of Chinese that come here that immigrated over, they're kind of afraid to go and push the envelope with, you know, like some of the the cuisine that, that we have. But, but, you know, actually, let me take that back. We're seeing a little bit more Chinese fusion in some of the restaurants now in Hawaii. But, um, but just in general, a lot of like the Cantonese cuisine, they're pretty, pretty vanilla, you know, they, they keep it pretty, uh, straightforward you know sorry there's somebody that is uh, right next to me they're trying to get into their car okay so let's go and put this shoyu sauce inside so this is not just regular shoyu sauce this is actually sweet well i hope it's sweet they better not go and like give me like the wrong one that pissed me off all right a couple of times like I got the shrimp look fun and then they ended up uh, not not ginger garlic but other places they ended up going and giving me like regular shoyu sauce I wasn't very happy with that there's a nice piece of shrimp in each section of the look fun I'll tell you guys a story so I was eating look fun at this other Chinese restaurant I went and I picked up my look fun and I right when I was gonna put it in my mouth like this I was gonna put it in my mouth and then on the bottom on the on the other end of this there was a dead cockroach so the whole time when I was eating my dim sum basically like dead cockroach guts was floating around in the shoyu <laughs> I was so grossed out so I went I told the waitress I was like hey you know there's a dead cockroach here and she's like, oh, sorry. And then she goes and takes it away. And, and that was it. I was like, man, the customer service, I tell you. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys haven't checked out Ginger and Garlic yet, go and check them out. Or if you haven't had these types of uh, dim sum before, go and check it out at your local dim sum restaurant, wherever you're at. If you would like to go and support my channel, you can go and check out the buy me a coffee link 
that I have in the description box down below. But please do me a big favor, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more videos just like this. If you haven't started following me on Instagram yet, make sure you guys follow me there. I'll see all of you guys next time. Bye.